Welcome. This is Melinda Barlow, CZT, Certified Centangle Teacher. And for a moment, I'm going to put my face here so you can see me. Then I'm going to take it down because I had a few people say it kind of gets distracting and in the way. So today we're going to do a hummingbird. And but I'm going to just film here for a little while just to get started. You see here a hummingbird. This is a Ben Walk um, hummingbird that I've tangled on. And I have, I'm working on a project. So I am doing a small book with a tangle to the side of it um, for a coloring book. I don't know if you can really see that. I'm gonna adjust my and there's what it says no bird soars too high if he soars with his own wings and here to the side you can see a very light printout of a hummingbird and I am going to tangle on this disregarding most of the lines and I'm just going to show you what you can do you can get this um, download with a little saying um, in my um, <laughs> in my face group book Zentangle meets typography and um, so if you want to look there you can see it there and um, I'll also put it in my store as a free download so you can see it there also so I'm going to close the little window and we're going to start to tangle and I don't know if you're going to be able to see really well but I'm going to come in as close as I can and still have you see and I'm going to adjust my light because sometimes the light can help help me a lot but you can see I'm going to start with the beak and the head so I did the eye already but I'm just going to outline the head and his beak and I chose hummingbirds because they are just amazing to me. And uh, so I'm going to do his little head and his beak. So it comes out there. And I'm going to do the rest of the little lines in, in just little dots. No, just do little tiny dots and come down those little lines with teeny tiny dots and you could do this and make your own little um, coloring book that you could give away that's what I'm going to do for the next few lessons we're going to tangle and I'm going to use different tangles on um, on a template that um, will have a saying to one side. I love um, things that help me think and remind me, you know, to be a, a better person. And I'm going to come along here and do just some dots above the head. And then right here, you see a little tiny line. And I'm going to fill in that beak. I have to be very careful. I'm so heavy handed. And, and I'm going to do little lines on both sides of this. Just because I, a little dots, a little pointillism because I think it looks like, helps it look like feathers. And now we're going to start with one of my very, very favorite tangles. And we're going to do this wing part. And um, so I'm going to come in right down at the head. I'm going to come up, do a little mooka, and come back down then go back up and 
I'm going to fill in these wings with what I call mucha feathers. And we just take our time and if we run out of space we just stop and so I'm going to come up and I want to kind of follow the line of the feather but I'm not necessarily following the line. I'm just doing these. They're going to help me get the shape right of the wing. Yeah, I am just putting Mookie in. And I love how light and airy this looks. And it helps kind of convey that hummingbird lightness and um, airiness. Right now it looks a little strange. It looks like he's got some kind of a, a headpiece on. But as we work into this, it will, it will change. So now I've got that first wing done and you can kind of see uh, another wing that starts here. I'm going to draw one of the lines that um, that is not part of the wing. I'm going to draw the breast. So we, we put in that breast line and then I'm going to draw this is just some reference lines and I will use those to um, tangle to do different tangles in but now that I have those reference lines let's see you can um, see it a little better and I am now going to do the other wing and it starts right down here and it comes up and then we're going to come down as close as we can in that evenness and then we're going to come back up and I'm going to follow that wing line and I'm going to do my mucha inside that wing line. It's just like having your um, uh, oh goodness your string. And we're making these feathers. And I've got a, nut, a couple of other lines you're going to see. And I'm going to um, kind of draw those. I, I don't want to, I'm going to do something in here and I don't want too many lines. So I'm going to turn it just a little bit. I'm going to come back to this. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to do a, a mucha that is more like Maria's mucha. It's a little fat. And 
I'm just going to fill in this space with these bigger looking feather areas. And then I also aura inside. So I'm just going to come up and they kind of touch each other. And if you've got a space, you can aura. And now I'm going to turn it around a little bit and I'm going to come from the inside and do some feathers going towards the outside. And now I'm ready to do the rest of my muka here. I think each one of us will have our own style. Even when you try to do a tangle the same way, that you've done it once before, you can't do it. Now I'm using the feathers to give me a, a spot where I need to end. Here I'm going to put another kind of chubby mooka. So you can see the wings that are, are um, working. And right in here, this area, these two areas, I'm gonna come back and do, but I'm gonna do the tail because I'm on that mooka mode. And those really fine light lines I love because they just disappear as you draw over the top so you aren't um, labeled or forced to do something in those lines if you don't want to you can come and just jump right outside those lines. And there we have our tail. And um, in, in this area right here, I am just going to aura to give that illusion of all that mooka. So I just gave it some more feeling like the wings there. Um, and now I have a couple of other sp spots that are um, need tangled. So I'm going to just do some dots down these lines. So they're just dotted lines, little feathery looking 
Mine aren't even dots. They, they kind of look like little commas and things. So, so I just have that kind of pointillism um, thing there. And in here, I'm going to do it so that it is. There's a lot of it, so I just am going to. This is my hummingbird's little breast. So I'm just going to fill this in with little dots, and they're thicker on the very outside edge, and then they get thinner as they go in. So we have that. And this one just leads itself to Knight's Bridge. We have the lines already there. All I have to do is ink them. You could do other things, um, but I think that the darkness I could do floors here, but I think that it needs a more dark area. So I'm going to do Knight's Bridge because I think it needs that drama. And I always start in one edge and move my way across. The reason is, is you don't want to get messed up on where you go next. So I usually do each line every other one because sometimes I can get messed up and I don't know where I go. That one I about messed up. And here we have a wonderful little hummingbird that physically is so tiny, yet it can hover in one spot and it can soar. And I just love little hummingbirds. And sometimes it's hard to color in. My pen is really running low on ink. So I'm going to get an O5 out. I've got a PN. Oh, it's brown. Woo. I don't want to ruin my thing with a brown PN pen. I believe that's brown also. Eee. Let's see if this one has a little bit more ink in it. No, it's really time. This is an 01 also. It's really time to set those off into the, the bin of making alcohol ink out of them. I haven't made any alcohol ink out of um, microns, the black microns. I'd like to see what what color black microns make. There, that's a better pen. It's newer. It's got a little bit more ink in it. When you do a Sharpie, you get purple. If you've seen my video on uh, making alcohol ink. I love Zentangle. It is so relaxing, but there's so many things that, um, I don't know where the book came from. Uh, there are so many things you can do with them. And this is just one to make a, um, 
a, uh, a little saying and make it into a coloring book or even just frame it. You could easily just frame that. Now this needs um, some color and, um, and I'll probably, since this is going to go in my coloring book, I'm not going to color it any, but if it were for me, I would color it. But this is going to go, and I've scored this center so I know it will fold in half. And there I have my, uh, I didn't do a very good job of scoring it. I will probably trim these all down anyway. But there you have the, um, uh, tangle. We've tangled on our little, um, hummingbird and how you can fill that in and just have fun with it. We're going to do several of these using our tangles and you'll see them. So have a great day and don't forget to tangle every day. It makes your life so much better. Thanks again and have a great day.